Hey everyone, we're going to talk about coins. So I'm sure by now you've already found all the coins in your house and maybe even counted them out. But I haven't counted the ones at my house, but I know I have a lot because they're all on my table. And I'm going to show you today how to make a coin chart so that we can keep track of the coins in our house that we're going to use all this week. So this is a whiteboard just like in our class. But I would like you to use either a whiteboard or a piece of paper at your house. I'm using a whiteboard so that I can um, recite, I can reuse instead of use a piece of paper. Okay, so first, turn this side. So what we're going to do is we are going to start, start at the very top, grab a pen or a pencil or a crayon, and you're going to write the words coin chart. You could write your own name. You could write Ezra's coin chart or Riley's coin chart. I'm just going to write coin chart. So we start with a C, O, I, N. That gives us the word coin. Then we're going to write chart. C, H, like Miss Hannah, A, R, T, Ch, art. I chose to make mine all capital letters, but you can do lowercase letters if you like. Now to build our chart. You're gonna need a straight edge. I'm going to use a magazine. A magazine, so I'm gonna hold it like this and draw a straight line. If it's not straight, that doesn't bother me. Then we're gonna make our first row. Our first row is going to be our penny row. Here's a penny I had in my pocket. Just kidding. It's way too big to be in my pocket. This is a regular size penny. See how teeny tiny it is? This is a very shiny one. A penny is only one cent. It's the smallest number value coin that we use in the United States. It's made of copper. That gives it that sheen. And it's good that we're, it's made of copper. We're going to do an experiment tomorrow with it. It also has a president on it. Let's see. President Lincoln. We'll talk more about him. So our first row is going to be our penny row. So grab your pen again. We're going to write the word penny. P. I'm going to do lowercase and uppercase mix this time. E N N Y. Now I'm gonna do another line. I'm not gonna use a straight edge this time. I'm just gonna see if I can do it. It's not totally straight, but that's all right. My next one is for our next smallest coin. It's going to be called a nickel. Nickel. Here's what it looks like on the back. It equals five cents. So you need five pennies to make one nickel. That's pretty cool. This is a different president. His name was Thomas Jefferson and on the back is a picture of his house, Monticello. On the back of the penny is a picture of the Lincoln Memorial. Okay, now we're gonna write nickel in our next row. Okay, so let's start together. N, I, now remember Miss Hannah's doing lowercase and uppercase. C, K, E, L, nickel. I'm 
gonna make another line. Our third row is for all of our dimes. Dimes. Now this is another president. His name is Franklin Delano Roosevelt. FDR as he is known. He has different things on the back. He's got a torch and an olive branch and an acorn branch. Now this is made of nickel and copper. That's why it's a silvery color. All right. Oh, I forgot to tell you. It equals 10 cents. So you need 10 pennies or two nickels to equal one dime. Now let's write on our coin chart. Dime. Start with a big uppercase D. D. And then a lowercase I. M and an E, a dime. I'm gonna make one more line. And for our chart, we're only gonna use four different coins. There are more coins, but they're not as popular. We usually don't have them in our pockets or in our couches like we do, these four. Now, our next one is one that's pretty exciting to me because if you have one of these, sometimes you can get a gumball. This is a quarter, quarter. It starts with a Q. On the back, it has an eagle, but there are new ones. Let's see if I can find one here. Oh. There are newer ones that have different things on the back. This one says effigy mounds. Some of them have states on them. Oh, this was this, this one's the state of Georgia. So they're all different. Now this is our longest word. So hopefully you have space left. Let's start with an uppercase Q. Remember it's a circle with a kickstand, an O with a kickstand, and then a U, A, R, I did a lowercase r, remember those look like hooks, a T, another E, and an R quarter quarter now quarters are 25 cents so they're pretty big if you have pennies you would need 25 pennies to equal one quarter if you used nickels you would need five whole nickels to equal one quarter and a dime you would need two dimes and five pennies but we're going to work on more of that math later Okay, so now that you have your chart, you can separate each one of your coins. So remember, and your grown-ups can help you because they know all of this. A quarter is the big one. Let's see if Miss Hannah can hold it up. <laughs> quarter is the big one. Pennies are the copper-colored one. Dime. They're the smallest ones. And nickels are the in between. Let's see. They have the big house on the back. So I want you to count how many of each you have. And then tomorrow we'll talk more about them.